everybody, I am Kalanda Casey and I want to welcome you back. If you are here to follow my weight loss journey, this video is for you. I haven't checked in in a while and I have been away on vacation and came home to a very busy schedule. So I thought it was time to check in and let you all know how I am doing. Well, I'm going to insert a picture so that you all can see where I started and the picture was taken I think last week or earlier this week and that will give you an idea of how my body is transforming and I must say that a picture speaks a thousand words because I was shocked to see it for myself. As you can see, this is a pretty big difference. That should have been one of the happiest nights of my life, and I was miserable. I felt so out of control. For those of you who do not know, I am taking GLP-1 injections, and mine is comparable to Wagovi. And so I go to a med spa in the Houston Metroplex, and I am under the care of their medical team. And I get my shots weekly, and I also get a B a combination of B vitamins and I think that that has done wonders for me and it does keep me uplifted and motivated and which is good plus losing weight is helping and I haven't talked about this on YouTube I only discuss this on Instagram in my stories on February 5th of this year I had a total hip replacement on my right hip and I struggled and struggled and struggled to feel better I kept going back PT kept thinking it was one thing the doctor thought it was another thing went in to see my family doctor uh, who has been my family doctor for about three years and I know her quite well and she said Kalanda you have to go back and see the surgeon you are limping worse than I've ever seen you limp and so I so I listened to her and I went back and he said no we've got to do some testing so of course that took some time and um, long story short I had three major tests and thank God I do not have an infection that was one worry um, but I wasn't sick I didn't have fever I didn't you know I think I would have really felt ill if I had had an infection but anyway um, the CAT scan with contrast showed that the implant had failed. I was told that day I should go buy a lottery ticket because that never happens. So, I have to have my hip replaced again. And that will be October 21st. I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's so far away. It is far away, but the doctor wanted to make sure his schedule was completely cleared so that he could take ample time with me. And he also has to repair the muscle in the uh, rotator cuff inside the hip. I didn't even know the hip had a rotator cuff. I'm not really big on medical, so anyway. So one of the reasons I decided to start losing weight is number one, I felt like if I could take some pressure off of my joints, it would help so much. And so that's why I went on GLP-1 injections. And I know you're here to find out what the weight loss is and I can tell you that I have lost 20 pounds and I am feeling so good and I still have a ways to go so just bear with me I'll be checking in every few weeks I am still at the 1.0 medication and I can go all the way up to 2.0 but the way that the clinic likes to do it where I go is to let you go as far as you can on one dose 
And when it stops working, when the food noise returns to me, or maybe I don't have a weight loss for a couple of weeks, then they will go up another percentage. And I'm not really sure what the next dosage is, but that's where I am right now. So over the past month, I've lost about five pounds, which I think is wonderful. And so I'm just doing this my way. The one thing I must say is that I am kind of eating what I want to eat. I am trying to get as much protein in my body as I can, but I'm not eliminating carbs and I'm not eliminating fruit and I'm not eliminating potatoes and bread. If I desire to have that, I will have it. But my body tells me, stop, you've had enough. Whereas before I would have had three or four piece like one night this week, we had spaghetti. Yes, I had some pasta, but I only had a tiny little bit of pasta and then I filled up on the meat sauce. And I had a piece of French bread. I wanted a piece of French bread. It tasted wonderful. I didn't have two to three pieces like I normally would. The other thing that I really just do not have any desire for is much alcohol. I really kind of turn my nose up to it. Um, I'm not a teetotaler, but it doesn't do much for me. So sugar is gone. Alcohol is 90% gone. Um, you know, I'm just trying to eat things that I know are good for me and fill me up. I did buy some bone broth. I thought that maybe um, I would enjoy that as the weather changes. I'm really having a hard time getting the protein shakes in. I do like to have a protein shake mixed in with a Diet Coke. They call it a Dirty Coke. I do like it that way. And so maybe in the fall, I'll like it with coffee to make a profi, which is a protein and coffee mix. But for now, that's where we are. If you are on the fence about starting this journey and you have any questions, I'm going to put my email address down in the comments so that you can email me uh, privately. I can understand why you may not want to openly ask in the comments. Very understandable because it is a private thing. But if you want to know more, I would be happy to share more with you. And so, with that being said, I am going to sign off and I will see you the next time.